sunken down pit here for the uh, God be kidding me. Are you afraid of the dark? Are you scared? <laughs> Guys, have we got a spectacular location for you today? We're coming to you from an abandoned church that was closed sometime in the 1890s and was last used more than 30 years ago. Since closing, it's mainly been used for storage and they held a rummage sale here several years ago. But since that time, it's been forgotten about, left untouched, and it looks the same as it did when they used it for its last service. Now, as far as we know, we're the first people to come here and make a video of this place. And this is a place I've been familiar with for a long time. I recently found out it was abandoned due to a viewer of mine contacting me and telling me that there's been people seen coming and going from here, most likely homeless people. So I decided to come check it out for myself, and sure enough, one of the doors was cracked open. Now, places like this are harder and harder to come by, places with no graffiti, no vandalism, and very little decay. So for that reason, we can't tell you the name of the church, where it's located, or even show you the outside of it, because we want to help protect it from the wrong people coming here and vandalizing it. But what we can tell you is that it's a very large building. It's built like a castle and has beautiful stained glass windows. Now we'd like to pass along that if you do know where this place is, please refrain from sharing it in the comments section, otherwise I will be forced to remove your comments. More importantly though, if you decide to come here for yourself, show it the same respect that we show it today. We're simply here to document and help preserve it because we don't know what the future of it is. It may be used again as a church, it may not, but a place like this shouldn't be desecrated or vandalized, so please show respect. So with that said, Mike, are you ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. So if you guys are ready, <clears throat> come along with us. Okay, so what we're in right now is the main church section and uh kind of speechless the church has been on my bucket list for years and although i've been in some in the past nothing like this though so this is an incredible find You can see all the pews are literally filled with stuff from collections and the rummage sale. Oh, there's that Celine Dion cassette tape I was looking for. And George Michael. Now you could literally spend all day in here looking through the boxes and the bags and stuff and as much as we would like to, we have a lot of ground to cover here so we're going to do like a highlights tour and although it's probably going to be a longer video, I just want to focus more on the architecture and the building itself, not so much on the contents inside here so just be understanding of that if we don't show you something that you're hoping to see. track player. Well, 
God, you know what that means. And that. It's officially abandoned. I think we got the whole Christmas tree right there. Now look at it. I guess there's a leak in here. And they've uh, been collecting it. It's frozen. You see we do have some natural decay plasters coming off, paints peeling, but overall it's still in good condition for not being used in 30 years. Yep, almost fell right through the floor there. Spoke a little too soon, so there are some bad spots. Looks like we got some brand new doors or windows here. Someone's sleeping bag right here. The punch clock. That's a relic. brand new blank VHS tapes. So from what it appears, the homeless people have been coming here and kind of going through the items and probably taking what they can, you know, to stay warm or to get a new set of clothes. So, I mean, at least the stuff's not going to total waste, but the good thing is, you know, there's no graffiti, no vandalism. Stuff has obviously been rooting through.
from people coming here, but for the most part though, I mean, looking at a practically untouched church that was last used more than 30 years ago, it's just hard to imagine. And it's still in really good shape, despite some plaster falling off and the one roof part is leaking a little bit, but I did discover some mold though. The pews do have some mold starting to grow just to, due to the lack of ventilation, stuff like that, the temperature changes, moisture. But overall though, I mean, it's what you would come to expect to find an untouched church and we finally found one. So up here, it looks like this is where Mass would take place. It's hard to tell though with all the items up here, but that's where you would stand to give the readings. And they have the sunken down pit here for the God be kidding me. My light died. Okay, so a little strange turn of events here as you guys saw I was just showing you the work in here and my light just cut out. I've only had the light on maybe 15 minutes. These last well over an hour and it's freshly charged so very odd that that happened. So we do have some doorways back here and a lot more of the building to cover. There's multiple levels. If you guys are enjoying what you're watching so far, don't forget to drop a like down below. spices. Does anybody here make yourself known? Wow, the size of this closet. That's a closet, holy oh, shit. Hey, that's a clean channel. Oops. I've got to believe you on now. <laughs>
Look at all the clothes in here. Yeah, these haven't been from donations some years ago. The same as just sitting here not being used. This is a little disturbing. It's like they have their own little viewing area here. Don't know what's on the tapes. So some of these are labeled like 24, some of them are actual movies, S.H.I.E.L.D., American Embassy, Hostile Ground. So I thought maybe your surveillance tapes, but I think it's just TV shows and stuff. in here. intended but look at this for a bedroom check this out for a bedroom I mean I don't know if this is an actual bedroom or not but it's makeshift right now but Got a nice curved room. It's like solid concrete walls. Actually, it's covered over brick, I could see. And um, six stained glass windows. I know, very, very cool though. You can see there's the brick and they put the concrete over it. And enough reading material to last you a lifetime. James Patterson, Stephen King, dozens of magazines. Oh, Mike's gonna be another cameraman <laughs> now. He's got the handy cam. This place is really big. Lots and lots of rooms. And enough contents in here to probably provide for a small town. Is that a house there? Or is that part of it? I think it's a house. Okay.
Singer sewing machine. Believe it or not, that's actually a waterbed. There's another one of those phones or radios that we saw in the other room. Someone's been sleeping here. So they got a decent video selection here. Twister, Hunter Red October. That double team. The Cure. Actually a set of keys here as well. Well, one good thing is that obviously this location is being utilized by homeless people and a lot of people comment in my video saying why do these places go to waste there's so many homeless veterans and homeless people well at least in this case it looks like it is being utilized even though it's you know they're staying here illegally but it's better than being outside in the weather they got lots of clothing you know a dry roof and beds to lay on so definitely an improvement over sleeping on the streets so Good thing though is that we haven't found any needles or anything like that, so looks like the people that are staying here are just trying to survive, not really, you know, didn't necessarily take a bad path in life. They just kind of fell on some unfortunate circumstances. At least that's my guess, and uh, hopefully it stays true. Actually standing on a solid sheet of ice right here. Looks pretty bad over here. Yeah, this whole floor is flooded and frozen. I'm just gonna give you a quick peek at it. This is where uh, more of the natural decay is coming through. This part has some bad roof.
Space up there into the top of the building. You can really see some of the beautiful woodwork up here. This might be where they held uh, the catechism classes. See a classroom over there. These are just uh, empty out rooms. I guess you could consider that graffiti, but it's very mild. Could have been when. Kids are even here. What's this? Map of Japan. So maybe not catechism, it could have been like a small Catholic school. That part I do not know. This reminds me almost like a, a small theater. Like they might have had a screen there and pews here for seating. Just a guess.
Nice struck gold again. Look what he found. These paintball? These are paintball. Sitting in that box right there. There's a BB gun in there too. Broken, but. Oh, yeah. Here's the, the barrels. For yeah. The Throw a bust out. There's the seal too. We found here. I don't know if these are. I don't think these are paintballs. That is a fancy look. Could be pink balls in there. Maybe. Wow. Disc man. It has to have anti-skip though or else it's no good. <laughs> <laughs> Even in the leather. Yeah, 10 second ESP, electronic skip protection. In the pleather case. <laughs> All right, I gotta check these couple of rooms over here, I forgot. Pretty empty room. Oh, look at this, it's like a freaking bike repair shop. Yeah, look at it. I got like spare parts here. That one there's a the black one's a Cannondale. That's a pretty good bike. Rosetta Stone. Here's someone's graduation hat. What year is that? 2007. Lots of photographs here and tablets and other items, but again, we're not so much concentrated on the contents. But curiosity does draw you in. There's a decent pair of sneakers here. Max, I don't know if they're knockoffs, but they look nice. Oh, here's a, one of my viewers, Mikey. If you're watching, this little segment's for you. He loves Thomas the Train. Some more of these bullet casings. Someone's uh, has this boot protector, I think, Kiwi. Then a nice little pouch. A shoe shining kit. This one's in a relatively good shape, minus the hole in the wall. If you can read that, it says 73. It says 77. Maybe the last time anyone used these rooms is back in the 70s. Who knows? I do like the door handles though in this building. They're all see-through and they got that T-shaped handle. Alright, so I think we saw everything there is to see up on this level. So we're gonna... Does it go up again, do you know? Or is this it? I think this is it. Okay, but we got bottom levels. I know there's a basement, so let's head there next. Look at the ceiling here. It's like a peacock was here. It's 
this Kermity Frog. I think it's from a Christmas edition. Oh, somebody's listening to J-Lo. There's even a picture here, airplanes on it. samples. Stop sign, detour, the phone. Pay phone. That's a that's a rarity. It says like some kind of seat. I like for bleachers I think. Range oven. It's all carpet samples down here and everything. This is where the building is in bad shape. It's all frozen water there. kitchen. Now look at the old pizza oven. the old dishwasher. There's some old equipment down here.
those are really nice cabinets. I love the not only the color but the look of them and the glass is still intact. Some of these doors are actually bolted shut. Screws and hinges or metal plates. happen to know what this machine is leave a comment down below it's corn operated washer dryer old old machines here but the hoses and the fittings look pretty new now, I'm not a coffee drinker so I can't tell you much about these but these ones obviously look older than those if you guys have some dates on these, I'd love to know. Notice too the drain plates, the design here, the same one as on there. Oh, no, I think I know there's another way in here. Yeah. <laughs> More airplanes. Jeez. kits everywhere. There's more bikes, 10 speeds. Overabundance of VHS tapes and cassette tapes. Oh, there's even like a desk over here. This is like a Frankenstein machine. <laughs> TV, radio, cassette player. I never saw that before. TV with four band stereo cassette recorder. If you guys happen to know, I know there's some fanatics of radios and TVs. Let us know some information about that. I never saw that before. Found me a CB radio. Breaker, breaker. Need a radio check. <laughs> Look, they have like a card table set up up there. See it? There's even a canoe up there on the stage. Yeah, I don't know if this was used for service down here or not, but more of like a banquet room. This is, uh, this is ceramic. I thought it was plastic. This is claws. It's heavy.
it's just piles and piles of stuff here. Can't even get to it all. This is kind of strange up here. It's like somebody's been having a party here. With some Parrot Bay Captain Morgan. There's an actual canoe down here. I mean, that's crazy. And it's like a little stage here. You can see the lights. All right, I'm not going to bore you too much longer. We went through most of the building. I think we got through maybe all of one area that's locked off, but I mean, down here though is just a lot of stuff, so we're gonna kind of just breeze over it, see if there's anything really interesting to show you like we did with that TV radio combination thing. But for the most part, I think we saw everything there is to see, so I'm gonna wrap up filming, snap some photos, and then um, finish up the video. But make sure you stay tuned though for a photo montage at the end. Oh, now here's an older bike. <laughs> This is a old designer here. And look at these. Arthur, Kuruki. That Ross one in the blue there is the older one. Take a little display here. That's where we just were earlier. So I couldn't go through, go around. Another washer. Just mountain to close. So for all the ladies out there that are going through divorce, you may want to pick up a copy of this. It's only $5.95. And this teaches you how to choose the sex of your baby. Maggie Simpson. Now look how small she is compared to my hand. A briefcase right there. They're all like models, model kits.
Okay guys, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed the look at this abandoned 1890s church. This is probably one of the top five finds we've ever came across. Just for the sheer fact that there's no vandalism, very little graffiti, and just natural decay. This part they're in right now is in really good condition. As you saw, some of the other areas are really bad with leaking water, holes in the wall, stuff like that. But overall, it looks pretty much the same as it did when it was last used for service over 30 years ago. Funny thing is all the contents that are in here, even though we didn't go through all of them, majority of them are based around airlines and airplanes. As you saw, there's countless model planes, uh, plane kits, books, pictures. Really bizarre that there's so many of them. We could have spent nearly all day here looking through the contents, but we wanted to just showcase the building itself. And hopefully you enjoyed what we did, did show you today because, again, we're, as far as we know, the first ones to be here to show it to you guys. Uh, I love hearing from you guys, so make sure you share your thoughts and comments and questions down below. But Mike will tell you what he thinks now. It was a really neat find. And as Jay said, uh, yeah, definitely top five. This is like, you don't see churches that are abandoned. So it was, it was really neat. And yeah, there is like so much stuff here. It's, you need a day or two to actually go through it all. There's just too much. A lot of clothes, though. But you want um, to your your page, too? Yep. Yeah, if you want to check out the pictures I, I took on my page, it's called Good Day for Decay, and as soon as I get them up, we'll have a video going. Yeah, it'll be linked down below under this video in the description. And just on a side note too, <clears throat> as we saw, there's a lot of evidence that people have been here, pretty much homeless people. We saw some bed areas with you know clothing, personal items, and again, as I was told about it, people have been seen coming and going from here. So we didn't encounter anyone, thankfully, but definitely someone has been coming and going. It's very evident of that. So. Just as a reminder, if you do know where this place is or do come here, please be respectful. This place is almost natural for when it was last used, and it's harder and harder to come by places like this these days. So with that said, if you enjoyed this adventure, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to check out his video. I do have Facebook where you can follow me, and I do share pictures from my adventures, as well as a Patreon page and merchandise shop and photos available for purchase. You can find all of those links down below in the description. So. With that said, I just want to thank you for watching, and until next time, we'll see you in the next video.